Have you ever noticed how many websites now let you switch between light and dark mode? Well, in this tutorial I will show you how to create your own theme select menu with those options light, dark and system theme preference. We will handle theme change using a custom hook and React context. Additionally, we will add an ability to store the user's theme preference to local storage. So, let's get started. Let's start building a React TypeScript project using vid by running npm create vid with dot. The following dot means that we are going to create a project inside the current folder. Choose React, TypeScript, done. Then, install npm dependencies with npm i, which is a shortened for npm install. And let's run the local development server. First, let's clear the boilerplate. Then, add a theme select menu in a separate file. We will create a components folder for better project structure. To create menu options, we need to create an array with the theme options and map through it. Now, let's import our theme select component into app component. Let's start writing a theme logic. For this simple project, writing the theme logic directly in the app component is sufficient. However, in more complex projects, you may encounter prompt drilling issues. To avoid this, we will use React context, providing easy access whenever needed. Let's create a theme context.tsx file inside the context folder. The first step is to create a context using the create context hook. As you see, we need to pass an initial state. Let's define it above. Our initial state will be an object with the current theme and change theme function. Also, in a separate constant, we will define a default theme, a systems preference theme. It's a group practice to use capital letters with underscores between words to visually separate constants and variables that might be changed throughout the code. Also, let's define type definitions. First, we need to define theme options as an array of strings. Then, define a theme type with indexes access type. So the theme type equals to theme options array values. And Initial state type object, where theme is type of theme and change theme is a function that accepts a selected theme in type of theme and returns nothing. So we've just created our context. The second step is to define and export a context provider component in order to give an access to the latest context to all our components. We will store a theme with useState hook. When we need to update theme, we will use setThem function that will trigger all child components that are used in this context to re-render. Also, in the theme context provider, the value probe is required. It has the exact structure as the initial state object, but the theme key equals to the theme state, which is the latest theme value in our app. Finally, wrap all our components inside main.tsx file. But first, we need to export our theme context provider. The last step is to create a used theme hook that will help to use our context inside components. Let's create use theme hook into hooks folder. Now we can import that hook into theme select component. Use destructuring to get theme and change theme functions. 
in our select element, define a default value that equals to our theme. We'll also add onChange function that will execute change theme with selected theme passed in. To define the type of the selected theme, we need to export a theme type from theme context file. Also, let's make a tiny adjustment here. We can actually import our theme options array from theme context and use it here instead. Now, let's open React Developer Tools, try to change a theme and check if the theme state changes indeed. Now our theme is system. If I choose light, it has changed it to light. If I choose dark, now our state is dark. It works. The theme logic is ready. However, we are not changing any CSS according to theme changes yet. Let's add some styles inside index.css file. We've added the dark class that has been toggled on the body element to enable dark mode. A color scheme property will toggle dark mode for interactive elements such as our select element. Now, we need to toggle that class each time when theme state changes. Go to theme context file and place the use effect inside the context provider. And put theme in the dependencies array. Now, Let's build the logic inside use effect. First, define dark mode preference variable. It is used to detect if the user's operating system is set to dark mode. Window dot match media prefers color scheme dark. Then we check if theme is system. If true, check if system theme is dark. Dark mode preference matches. If true, we add our dark class to the body element. Document body class list add dark. Otherwise, we just remove the dark class from the body element. Next, we check if theme is dark and add the dark class to the body element. And finally, we check if theme is light and remove the dark class. Try to change theme and see if it works. I choose light and you see that the dark class is gone on the body element. I choose dark. We see that dark class appears on the body element. If I choose system theme, the dark glass is here because my system theme is dark. Notice that this is just my approach for changing styles for the dark mode. An alternative way is that instead of toggling the dark glass, you can import use theme hook inside your components and change style conditionally with the theme state extracted from the hook. Also, add a listener to listen to system theme changes. Dark mode preference. Add event listener for change events and we will define a function that we will pass handle system handle system theme change it accepts an event which is a media query list event it checks if event matches and the next code is the similar. And let's pass this function to the event listener. Also, don't forget to remove event listener when component amounts using return function. Now let's change the system theme to light and see if it works. You see, the theme is changed. If I choose dark, we see that the dark class is added to our body element. Everything works as expected. The last important thing to notice, if you choose any theme and refresh the page, 
it restores to the default theme. To make the browser remember the user's theme preference, we will save the selected theme to local storage and read it from local storage every time the user opens the app. First, let's define a key in a variable that we will use to access the storage. This helps us to avoid any misspelling in the future. Let's handle saving the selected theme. We will use try catch block. And also, let's provide a warning in the console if we can't access the local storage. Last, we need to read the user's theme reference when the user opens the app. Now in our app, let's choose a different theme and try to update the page. As you see, the state is initialized with the saved theme. That's all. We've just successfully created a dynamic theme switcher in React using the use theme hook and React context. By leveraging local storage to persist user preferences, our application ensures a seamless experience across sessions. This tutorial provides a solid foundation for building more complex theming systems and highlights the power of React context API in managing shared state across components. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, so please hit the like, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about how do you implement a dark mode in your app. Happy coding!